Well, hello, Aries. Welcome to your first reading of the year. This is January 2024. <laughs> Hope you're amazing. Happy New Year. This new year looks really good, by the way. Okay. Okay. So let's see what we have for you, Aries. Child orphan. Independence based on learning to go at it alone, conquering fear of surviving. Mm hmm. You're making some changes for yourself, but they're good. You know, it's like <laughs> you're setting off into this scary, unknown world, you know, um, coming out of a comfort zone. Yeah. Becoming braver. Resilience, experience, growing stronger, a fresh perspective. Absolutely. This is good, Aries. This is good. You're facing your problems head on, issues, troubles, fears. You're like, I'm doing this. It is me, you know? Some confidence here. True love. Broken heart. Okay, I know where we're going with this. And new beginnings. <laughs> Yeah, I, this very much feels to me like you were very focused on love. Like 2023, you were like, I want to find somebody. Love is this, dating around. But I feel like you're separating yourself from that. Kind of, it feels like I'm more than this. I'm more than finding a relationship or maintaining one. Um, there's more to life than this. And it's like you're doing a clean slate. It's not that you don't want to be in love and you don't want to find it, but it's not your main focus, you know? It's not a heavy focus anymore. Storyteller. Mm-hmm. Answering the call. And meadow, vulnerability. Yeah. Actually, it's this way. Okay. All right, feels better. Okay, two of coins, will of fortune, nine of swords, the moon, the devil, seven of wands, the magician, Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, you have the devil in the middle, not necessarily bad. To me, it feels like you are facing your demons, you know, you're facing your, um, traumas your shadow energy whatever it is that you need to work on or what's been holding you back okay the thing is with that is you're also looking at your material life I can see um, there is some balancing of your material life or getting things in order budgeting um, moving to a place that's maybe cheaper um I feel like you're taking responsibility of your life and of your material life goods you know <laughs> like your your existence sorry I thought I saw my cat um your existence 
You're definitely balancing those things. You know, you're, you're past the point Aries of being emotional about it and not, and being like, well, maybe next time, or I'm not ready. I feel like you're way past that at this point. And now it's just like, okay, I need to get this done. I need to work on this. I need to focus on these things. I do see a little bit of worry. Mm. So as you go along making changes, I do feel like that sort of trauma or the shadow energy that you need to work on is going to start coming up for you. But it's okay because I feel like you, this is the time for you to confront what you need to confront and deal with it because you're doing something good for yourself. You're doing something positive. You're moving on. You're making your life better. There's no need to hesitate. You know, it's just that those worries are, this is how these things come up. This is how these things come to the surface. So you can deal with them. Yeah, you're also seeing that there are some things that you have created, like mentally, like you've mentally created some things that hold you back, like maybe a feeling of insecurity or uh, feeling like everyone is watching you or maybe everyone is against you or that the world is bad, you know, like these kind of negative mindsets. It's like you're finding at least one of those in your life that you maybe have formed or created and working through that as well, you know. I feel like that piggybacks off of that Nine of Swords. And working on getting yourself unstuck from those. So you're just on this process of making your life better and balancing things out, working through finances, working through work issues. Um, I don't know. It, it just feels to me, Aries, that your goal is to make your life better <laughs> and to a- achieve what you need to achieve. You know, it's like, okay, these things coming up, I got to deal with this. Cause if I don't, where will I be? You know, I, I have to do this for myself. I feel like I should turn all these over. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah. It feels to me like you're working on things in January that you kind of kept suppressed. It's one of those things where it's the new year and you're like, I should probably start doing these things or I should probably start focusing on these things. And that's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. It it very much is balancing out the scales. Uh, A lot of the, I see that you focused a lot on love. We're going to go back to that a lot on love, a lot about finding someone to love you, care for you, um, being in a relationship. And it just feels like that's not a priority. Like, like, all the things that you were like, oh, I'll get to it later. You're like, oh, it's time for me to get to those things now. And this changes everything, everything. It, it feels to me with the will of fortune, it was time. It was time for that to happen. And that little switch of focus will change everything for you in a very good way. It's like you're coming out of a cave almost. Um, there's no, There really is no need to worry because... It's like this had to happen. It's like it's going to work out for you. I feel like you do know that it's going to, like, as you go along, and I said, like, those traumatic things come up or shadow energy or mindset changes, switches that you need to do come up. It does get a little bit fearful for you, Aries, but you're fine, you know, because you're creating the life for yourself, you know. You're creating comfortability you're creating structure okay so as you start to move on okay you will have to face some some fantasies you're gonna have to break down some walls and I'm telling you this is shadow energy and a lot of this is I feel like you're gaining knowledge about finances and about things that you may not have known before okay and don't be scared don't be like 
oh, I'm not ready for this or, oh, my God, being an adult is hard, you know, <laughs> whatever. But I feel like you're just breaking down some walls of things that you knew about life or didn't know. OK. And this is another thing that's going to help you get through. Like the trauma, the shadow energy, the things you don't know, the fears. It's interesting. Oh, interesting. So. I feel like you'll have some support. I feel some support here. If you ask for help, you'll find it. If you look for a program when you need a program for like maybe debt consolidation, you will find a good one. OK, um, the key here is for you to be open to vulnerability, be open to not knowing. If you don't know, find out who does know. Google on the Internet, you know, um, don't shut yourself down. Don't get scared. The key here to getting through this is your own dedication. You know, you taking a stand and accepting the challenge for yourself. That's what's re that's what really changes everything. You know, like I'm not going to be a victim anymore. I'm going to do this because I know I deserve it. And I, and I know good is going to come from it. OK. Yeah. I see you creating a new beginning for yourself. Things are going to turn out really well. It's almost like you're gaining confidence in the power of what you can create, you know. Um, I, I do. I see a focus on materialism. Either you're seeing everybody buy things or it feels like, you know, when you have to go on a budget and you you're like, OK, I got this much money for entertainment. OK, and everybody's doing all these things. And you're like, oh, I don't have any money in that budget left. It's like you have to stick with it. There, There's something where in January you have an opportunity to fall into a trap. Um, but it's important for you to hold on to your money or to stand strong when these little moments come up. Uh, I see you working a lot. Um, doing a lot of what you have to do and not what you want to do. This doesn't feel fun. It feels like you're getting down to business. Getting down to business. Where is that from? I know that's a Disney movie. I got to figure it out. Hold on. <laughs> Aries. <laughs> so I looked it up and it's I'll make a man out of you from <laughs> Mulan. That's funny. Okay. So anyway... Um, yeah so it is a lot of responsibility and I see you struggling because maybe other people are doing things and you can't but you're on a mission you're achieving a goal you're doing great you know it's like it's one of those things where it's like okay these two months may be hard but the rest of your life is going to be good you know it's that, that hard work is going to pay off and it is. I see with the Eight of Cups that it will pay off and you have to like keep that in the back of your mind that it will. But I see a little bit of you being like, oh, I'm trapped in this situation I don't want to be in, but it's actually good for you. OK. OK. I definitely see a change, a wonderful change in your finances and your career situation, because right now it it was like, you know, that there's a lot of things you got to do, but you were kind of stuck in a routine and it you it's like you got comfortable there. But now it's time to come out. You know, it's time to come out of that routine. It's time to not be stuck there. Um, 
You don't need to be f- scared of, of taking too big of a risk. It's not. You're going to be fine. Um, you just have so much potential, you know, and it's being wasted by it's being wasted by fears, you know, fears and not being ready or laziness or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is your chance to be honest with yourself and get through that. Okay. Yeah, let the past go. Um, Some people are still hung up on the past, it looks like. The past or what happened in the past or not being good enough. You are good enough, right? You are. You know, one of the things I do want to say is you do deserve love. You know, it's just that you deserve the right kind. You don't want to give, you know, we about to go on a rant. You don't want to give too much of yourself, like all of yourself to someone who doesn't deserve it. And it looks like something like that has happened, which is why you sort of feel that way. Um, It's just you're learning what's important right now. You're focusing on yourself and that is what is important right now. Um, And then when you are whole, when you are independent, when you are confident, then you can go into something with someone who will also know that worth in you, you know, and respect that. But I see you being trapped in working on your finances and stability right now. That's where all your energy is at the moment. Okay. Yeah. So talking about love again, I see a load, if not one specific relationship that was not very nurturing to you. It wasn't very healthy for you. Um, And right. Yeah. Right now, your focus is yourself on strengthening yourself into the magician and to the creator and to the manifester that you can be. Um, That's that's what I see you doing and making changes to to write wrongs and balance shadow energy and issues within you so you can move forward and one of those things that will help you along the way or help you open up the door is working on finances and career okay Yeah, I feel like you don't know, like the details of what is next for you. Um, Like you don't know what you're going to come against. (laughs) It it doesn't mean anything bad. I just feel like you're not aware or you're not prepared um, ahead of time. Don't give up, you know, just keep pushing forward because if you give up, or you get disinterested in it, it's not going to help you. It's not nurturing to you, you know. It's not going to give you that change that you want. It's like it stops that change, that shift into a new beginning dead in its tracks, okay? Mm, This is interesting. Um, It's like we're going from, they want you to focus on the fact that when you weren't putting the energy in or when you weren't doing these things, you felt stuck or like you weren't making enough money or very materialistic. You were kind of exploiting yourself in, in situations you shouldn't be in and you didn't have that spark. You didn't have that motivation. You didn't have that focus. But if you put this energy in, even though it's a lot of work, it looks like, and it's going to be a lot of responsibility, you get to walk into something new and change those seemingly, quote unquote, bad decisions, choices, or even mindsets that hold you back. Interesting. All right, Aries. Let's see what spirit has for you. Emotions are running high. Mm Mm-hmm. They are. 
it's just a it's oh it's gonna be overwhelming to you emotionally i feel like i don't know what else to say here star star bear and storm mm-hmm you need to have hope and faith in yourself. That's what's going to drive you through. So this is Spirit's message. It's for you to have faith in yourself and hope and know that the higher power is there to help you and there to support you. Okay? You're not doing anything bad. You're not doing anything wrong. You're trying to do what's right and that will be rewarded to you. Okay? You'd have to stick with it. The bear is about dedication. So you have to stick with your hopes and your dreams, at least for a little while. You know, you stuck with the other side of life for a while. So why not try this? So it's like stick with it. OK, even through the hard times, because there will be some because there's change, there's shift. You have to change your mindset. You're going to hit some shadow energy. You know, like I said, some karmic things to deal with. You got to keep pushing through. OK, so I will say I'm getting the, the message to start focusing on your energy, like your emotional energy, and make sure you can keep that balanced meditation, writing things out, praying, um, talking to a spiritual leader, a friend, um, a loved one, whatever is easier for you. Okay. So Aries, I love you. Happy New Year. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.